Saima from Quora asked me this question. How can I improve my public speaking skills to improve my business and social connections? Well, in this video, we are going to talk about the first part of her question, how to use public speaking skills to improve your business connections. Stay tuned. Hello, this is Brenda Chidamura, creator and founder of Public Speaking Masterclass. Welcome to this video. I help professionals develop speaking confidence and articulation that helps them to stand out and get promoted wherever they go. As I mentioned in the introduction of this video, I got a very good question from someone called Saima on Quora. She wanted to learn how to use public speaking to improve her business connections as well as the social connections. In this video, we're just going to talk about her business connections and then in a following video, we'll talk about how to use public speaking skills for her social connection. In business, there are two things that people are usually trying to gauge from you whenever they're interacting with you. The first thing is your credibility. They want to make sure that they believe in you and what you're able to do for them and for their business. If they can truly see that you are an expert in the field that you are working in, they can trust you more. The second thing is they want to understand your personality. In other words, they want to understand who you are better. Not only do they want to understand your personality, they want to gauge whether you are responsible, whether you are a team player, whether you are conscientious, whether you are positive in how you approach your work because all of those things become very attractive when they have to work with you. But those two questions alone cannot just be answered by how you do things and how you interact. Those two questions should also be answered by how you articulate yourself. You see, when you are able to explain what you do and what you believe in a way that is intelligent, people believe you more. In the same vein, if you are able to articulate your idea in a way where people really connect, not just with what you're saying, but they connect with you, that's equally powerful. So that's why it's important that how you express your ideas actually helps you to improve your credibility as well as your personality. And if people can see both of those things in how you speak, you have become someone who is an influential person in business. So how do we use your public speaking skills to become this influential business person? One of the exercises that I actually do with my clients is to take out a piece of paper and we jot down 10 positive attributes they see about themselves. And those attributes could be something as simple as you being thoughtful or you being very discerning or you being very observant. In addition to just those adjectives, think about how you interact with other people and how people perceive you. If you are known as the one who is the peacemaker in some tense negotiation deals, put that down. If you're known as the one who always has the original ideas, put that down as well because that's an incredible attribute to have. If you are known as the one who is brilliant at organizing things, jot that down as well. As you put all of those attributes down, they're not really going to come to life unless if you actually embrace them and make them a part of who you are every day. It's really important that you start practicing verbalizing all of those attributes every day, in the morning as well as at night. The more you are clear and positive and thoughtful about how you see yourself, the better you are going to carry yourself wherever you go. The more you see yourself in a positive light and you carry yourself that way, the more people are going to trust you and believe you when you actually start talking about some business concept where you really need them to believe and to trust in you. In addition to how you start to see yourself and how you frame yourself, you have to carry yourself as someone who is confident and self-assured. So the way you do that is to always have your shoulders back and look up whenever you're talking to people. Give appropriate gestures when you are trying to explain something and never start your sentences with um or ah, because as soon as you do that, you sound like you are unsure of what you're about to say. 
What you want to always do is to start with a very strong, clear word that defines what you're about to say and solidifies it. For example, if I am going to say that a new software is going to be really valuable for the team, the last thing I want to do is to say something like, um, I really believe that the software is going to be beneficial for our team. What I would like to say instead is, this software has the capability of improving our productivity by 30%. That's a much stronger, clearer statement that helps people to have a sense of knowing that this software has validity and the person who's speaking on behalf of that software is someone I can trust because they have expressed it well. And it's not even that they're looking at you engaging what you're saying as something valid. It's just that it's an innate response that they have to you being so confident and clear and articulate in how you have expressed your opinion. This leads me to my second question, and that is, what do you believe in? One of my high school teachers once said, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for everything. And that is such a crucial thing to understand, especially in business. Whether you are an interior designer or an engineer, or you have your own business, it's important that you have some core principles that you stand by that everyone knows you for. If for instance, you are an interior designer and you truly believe in the power of sustainability and organization and color in your designs, that is your point of view. Now, for anyone who's going to come across your work, they should always understand that this person believes in sustainability in beautiful designs as well as color. That will help them to decide if they want to work with you and if your perspective and your point of view resonates with them. The other thing about you having a strong point of view is that it helps people to actually believe you and trust in you more. Someone who has put thought into their point of view is someone who's much more credible and trustworthy. And that means in business, more people are going to want to work with you and possibly promote you because they feel like they understand you better. If for instance, you're an engineer and you truly believe in better quality control for the things that you do, and you always speak about that and people know you as the go-to person for quality control, that is a brilliant thing. Talk about that. Talk about the benefits of that as often as you can. If you are at lunches with your bosses or in social gatherings with your colleagues, bring it up in conversation. Obviously not to be overbearing, but in a way where people just get the sense that you are passionate about this and this matters to you. Because when the time comes perhaps for a promotion, in some area where maybe your business wants to improve in their quality control, who are they going to come to? It's likely going to be you because you have been very verbal and articulate in speaking for quality control. Now that we have established how you see yourself and what you believe, think of opportunities of where you can mention some of the ideas that you have. We've already talked about using any social settings you have with your colleagues to talk about all of these issues as well as in the boardroom. But why not go bigger? Volunteer for presentations to do with your work as much as you can. You get to share your ideas so that people, again, connect with your expertise as well as your personality and your credibility. The more they're able to do that, through all of these presentations that you are volunteering for, the better. In addition to those work presentations, think about going further than that. Look at your professional associations and see if there are speaking opportunities there. Speak to the event organizers and find out if maybe they're looking for speakers to share their expertise in a particular area in your industry. The more you are able to put yourself out there and share your ideas and reveal your expertise as well as your personality, the more people are going to be exposed to you and enjoy your work and believe in you and want to promote you. And that's how you will find yourself advancing in your career. You might even have headhunters looking for you because they saw you at some conference where you were the guest speaker. After you have done those presentations and you have been a guest speaker at your professional associations, 
come back to your boss and share those milestones with him. That will impress him and really show him or her that you are serious about your work and that will also position you to be the likely person that they want to promote the next time the opportunity arises. And it's important that you not just do it once, do it as often as possible because that way, even if you don't get promoted where you are now, you are likely going to be more visible for the next job that is going to come along. I truly believe when you start to take your public speaking skills seriously and use your expertise as well as your strong point of view, you will find that you are set up to be incredibly successful in any arena and in any setting. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and comment and share with your friends so that they also get to learn more about public speaking through the videos that I will be sharing. In addition, get the checklist that I have shared with you down below that actually helps you to think about how to feel and be confident every day in your business settings. So all you have to do is just go down to the description area and click on the link and you will have access to that free checklist. Look out for the second part of the series where we talk about how to use public speaking skills to improve your social connections. Thank you so much for having joined me and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, here's to your success.